show you how to make my sour cream raisin bars up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Jolene Sugar Baker, yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker. She's bringing the Trailer Park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, you gotta meet this girl. She's got gossiping food and lots of news. Dropping in on neighbors is what she do. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. Passion at the park. Passion at the park. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. Yeah, Jolene Sugar Baker. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, fall is here, and I had to turn on the heater, and it makes that, I don't know, it's kind of like a burnt smell, I don't know what it is, but it goes away after a while, but it's been getting colder, and, but there's still lots of get-togethers for, like, with your friends that you gotta go to, and you gotta make something, and that's where today's recipe goes to, and that is my sour cream raisin bars, and it's kind of like an old-fashioned pie in a bar, and you use raisins, and I know I know you've got a box of raisins in the back of your cabinet that you haven't thought about or you know you buy raisins and you think oh this is going to be so great to eat and then you're like I've had enough raisins well put them in a baked good it's my sour cream raisin bars up next on the trailer park cooking show I'll be right back welcome back I'm so excited to show you my sour cream raisin bars because they will surely make you the talk of the trailer park. And first up, you're going to need a saucepan, and that goes up on your stove top. And I've got two cups of regular seedless raisins, and we're going to pour them right into the saucepan like that. We're going to cover the raisins uh, with some water here, and just to the just the bare top of the raisins, and we're going to cook them up on the stove top for about 10 minutes, and you're going to stir it every now and then so they don't stick or burn, but about 10 minutes, and most of the water should absorb back into the resuscitated raisins. So let's go ahead and add some water and start that process up on the stove top. There we go. We've got about just a hair bit of water over the raisins in the saucepan. I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes up on the stove top. Don't boil it too much or don't make it burn, so go ahead and stir it every now and then. Next up, we're going to make the crust of the sour cream raisin bars. And I've got a bowl here, and I've got a cup of brown sugar. So we're going to dump that right on into the bowl. And you need a half cup of margarine, and I find that that works the best. So I've got that right here, and let's go ahead and dump that right on into the bowl. And I've got one and three-fourth cup of flour, just all-purpose flour, goes right on into the mixture. And I've got one and three-fourth cup of the all-purpose um, quick-cooking oats, and that goes right on into the mixture. And we're going to mix this all around until it gets crumbly. So go ahead and mix that until you get a crumbly mixture, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Wait, one teaspoon of baking soda goes right on in there, so don't forget that. Right on into the mixture, and just keep on stirring until you get a crumbly mixture. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and I've got a 9 by 13 baking pan here, and we've got our crumb mixture. We're going to take a half of our crumb mixture and press that down in the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to bake that for about seven minutes at 350 degrees. So go ahead and take a half of that crumb mixture and just press it out into the pan, down in the bottom of the pan. There we go, just pressing it out. Just a half of it is all you need. There we go, pressing it out into the pan. And these bars are just going to go great at your coffee party or maybe even on the buffet table because the sour cream and raisin just reminds me of an old-fashioned pie, but it's in a bar and people will just really love 
having it in a bite-sized version and it's easy to eat at a party because we all know that people don't like to eat things in public with you know just it looks bad sometimes so a bar is easy to eat very petite but I've got it mixed in the pan here and we're gonna throw it in the oven for about seven minutes so set your timer next up we're gonna make the filling for the sour cream raisin bars and I've got a bowl again and I've got one and a half cups of regular sour cream right here that we're gonna put right into the bowl just like that and to that, we're going to add three egg yolks. So just go ahead and get the egg yolks ready and just dunk those on into the bowl. Got those ready and they go right on into the bowl just like that. I've got one cup of sugar and that sweetens everything. So let's go ahead and add that to the mixture. And now you're going to add um, about a teaspoon or so of vanilla extract. You know, I don't measure that. I just dump that right on in. Just like that. And now we're going to add two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. And that goes right on into the mixture. Just like that. We're going to mix this around until it's well blended. And let me get that going and we'll check back in just a moment. Now, remember our raisins that we did up on the stove top? They've been cooling down, and you see there's a little bit of water left in them. That's okay if it's a little bit. And what we're going to do is just add it to this creamed mixture, just like that, and give it a stir around and get that going. So that goes on top of our baked crust mixture. So just stir this around and maybe not um, like spray it all over your countertop there. But go ahead and stir this, and I'll check back in just a moment. Here's our baked bottom crust, and what we're going to do is just take our liquid mixture with the raisins and pour it on top of that. So go ahead and just pour that on out and spread that out evenly on top. Now remember all that crust mixture that you have left over? What you're going to do is you're going to put that on top of that mixture. So go ahead and just spread that out on top of that mixture. Just like that. Just putting it right on top. Spreading it all over. And wow, I can't wait to eat these because these just have an old-fashioned taste. And your friends will really love this recipe. And let's go ahead and complete the top of it just like that kind of makes a little feeling in the inside, especially with this oatmeal. It's just very homemade with that. Let's finish the top just like that. And we still have the oven preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to throw it in there for about 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Don't make it too brown, but um, they'll be baked in no time. So go ahead and set your timer. And there you have it, my sour cream raisin bars. And look at that crumb topping, how pretty that is. That makes it look like you spent hours on it. And I see in there, there's a nice creamy raisin filling in them. And it's a nice bottom crust too. It's made kind of like a layer type experience there. And I just, well, I'm going to try it right now because I just can't wait to see how it tastes. Mmm, taste that crunchy brown sugar and the oatmeal and the raisins are so sweet and that creamy sour cream middle and wow, this is a winner. This is really good. Mmm, doesn't need an icing. It's sugary enough and mmm, it's just got a nice crunch in that other texture in the middle in the bottom crust. Wow, these sour cream raisin bars are sure great and it'll make your party great too. So I hope you get a chance to make them and if you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there and of course add me on Google Plus. I'm there too. There'll be some more recipes right around the corner so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course, share this recipe with your friends because they need to make these sour cream raisin bars too. 
I love y'all, and I'll see y'all back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.